when you start reading the Bible, um, obviously it's going to take you a while to get to point A to point B, you know, when you're going around flipping through uh, different books, right? Uh, the pastor tells you like, hey, uh, go to this book or go to this book or whatever, chapter, whatever. And, uh, and it's, you know, it's, it's a good idea to get the, you know, the little tabs you put for uh, the chapter divisions. Uh, another way is um, just memorizing the table of contents, right? So, okay, all right. Genesis all the way to Revelation. But it, it also does you good to understand the layout of the Bible. Because when you understand the layout of the Bible, then it's a lot easier to navigate, right? And uh, you won't have to really use a table of contents. I mean, I mean it's still a good idea, but um, understanding how the Bible is laid out. So, the first five books of the Bible in the Old Testament are the books of Moses, right? The Pentateuch, right? the Torah. Sometimes the Torah refers to the entire Old Testament, but generally the Torah is referred to the first five books of the Bible or Pentateuch, right? Books of Moses. Then you have the historical books from Joshua all the way to Esther, right? So you have the Pentateuch, you have the uh, historical books. Then you have the wisdom books, right? Job, Psalms, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, Songs of Solomon, right? So you got the wisdom books, okay? Then you have the prophets, and the prophets are separated into two categories. You got the major prophets and you got the minor prophets. It's not saying that one is more important than the other. It's just saying uh, the major prophets have more reading material, right? So obviously Isaiah, Jeremiah, Lamentations. Well, Lamentations is with Jeremiah, but... Ezekiel, Daniel, they're going to be bigger than uh, Joel, uh, Amos, Obadiah, whatever. And then, yeah, of course, you got the minor prophets, right? So after the major prophets, you have the minor prophets. Sometimes uh, Daniel's included in the minor prophets, but major prophets, minor prophets, and then the end of the Old Testament ends with Malachi because of the prophecy of John the Baptist, right? And then John the Baptist is at the beginning of Jesus's ministry. Then for the New Testament, you have the Gospels. You have the four Gospels, right? Then you have Acts. So Acts is like a transition book. And then you have the Pauline epistles or the letters of Paul, right? And it starts from Romans and it goes to either Philemon or Hebrews. So uh, you're like, okay, so this is where a lot of people get caught up, uh, you know, figuring out where to go in these letters. Understand this. The letters of Paul are ranked from biggest to smallest. So when you read Romans, Romans is going to be the biggest epistle. Then First and Second Corinthians, then Galatians, then Ephesians, Philippians. They might be uh, uh, one slightly bigger than the other, but generally that's the order, right? The letters get smaller as you get down to Hebrews, right? And then Philemon is only one page. It's only one letter. Now, Hebrews, you're like, okay, well, what about Hebrews? Hebrews has, uh, I think it has 13 chapters. Um, well, Hebrews was a debated book over, uh, I mean, the early church debated whether or not Paul wrote it, right? Or somebody else, uh, maybe Apollos, uh, maybe Luke, uh, maybe, uh, somebody, whatever. But generally it's attributed to Paul, but there's dispute. That's why Hebrews is right there, right? Because Hebrews is obviously bigger than Philemon. And then you have the general epistles and it goes from James to Jude. Right, a Jude is only one page, right? Just like Philemon is one page, uh, Jude is one page. Then you have Revelation, the last book in the Bible. So, understanding the layout of the Bible, you have the Pentateuch, first five books of Moses, you have the historical books, you have the wisdom books, you have the, the major prophets, you have the minor prophets, you have the gospels, you have the transition book, Acts, you have the letters of Paul or the Pauline epistles. And then you have the general epistles, right? Sometimes they're referred to as the Catholic epistles. Then you have um, Revelation. So that's the layout of the Bible. Hope it helps.